did from 05 to 07, uh, I turned 800,000 pesos into 10 million pesos. So that's more than, uh, that's more than 12, that's like a 12 bagger during that period, right? Um, what we don't realize is that at the very peak of markets, uh, I basically had 10 million in cash and 5 million pesos in margin. And I bought, put everything into a stock called CL Financial. <laughs> and I said I was going long term on it already. Um, and then the next six months, I turned 10 million into 900,000 pesos <laughs> and basically losing everything I made for the past three years. So um, when you think you're in the, and in, in, in everything can go, nothing can go wrong and everything's just gonna go right, um, that's when you don't realize that any one mistake can completely wipe you out, right? I see, I see. So uh, let's just backtrack slightly. Uh, for that three years that you were making, you made almost 10 times your original capital. Uh, can you shed a bit more light about the, the kind of strategy or the methodology that you were using at that point in time? I'm sure at, now that you think back, it is quite a bit of luck of being uh, at the right place at the right time. But I'm sure by then you should be using some kind of strategy already, right? And what, what, what kind of strategy was that that you were using to generate that kind of returns? Uh, it was really a momentum strategy, just buying high, selling higher. But it was a period, during a period where, you know, most, if you're in a bull market, no matter how, as long as you're participating, you're making money. It just so happened that I was very aggressive during that time since I didn't really understand what losing was. Um, so you're just being aggressive at the right place at the right time with margin. So you're basically trying just to, trying to get the fastest horse. Um, and it, you couldn't really go wrong during that period. Anything that you're buying was going, just, just continuously going up every single period. Um, and by being able to take advantage of the leverage at the same time, your portfolio really balloons, right? Uh, it was just during the, the peak where you didn't really realize what leverage really meant. 